the fact that you mention living in a world without meaning, without something like God, is unbearable. This is very true. We need to align ourselves with our heart, our spirit's deepest yearning for the real purpose of this brief journey, of this dangerous path, if you will, living in a world of uncertainty, with the big question of why are we here? Such a question is not answered merely with the mind, but with a knowing of the heart. That is to say, witnessing beauty, witnessing goodness and compassion comes from another place in ourselves besides the rational mind. Now, the issue of where God fits into this needs to be removed from the concept that God makes everything happen. This is a mechanistic approach, an assumption, a, a partial truth that quickly becomes distorted, that somehow a volcano erupts and it's God's doing when it is the mathematics of organic life on earth. Certainly the issue of wars, the evils in humanity have nothing to do with God. This is our doing, our use of our free will, which throughout history continually like a gravitational pull takes us down to the lowest forms of functioning. And this is where the reality of God comes in. For those who choose not to let themselves sink into that less than animal behavior, that utter self-absorption and cruelty that is so frequently seen in humanity. In order to overcome that and transcend it, there needs to be a recognition of our potential as people of light, of goodness, of self-giving. And this is where we touch upon the reality of God. The self-giving love that is presented to us in the figure of the Christ, the saintly people who have preceded us, who may be around us, though invisible in a world overwhelmed by darkness, reveal to us some dimension of our humanity that is rooted in the sacred. So the issue is, what is the sacred? When you speak of the Bible and how God is presented there, once again, there seems to be this sense that in this one book, there is this picture. But it is not one book. In fact, the Bible comes from the plural books, and it is an evolutionary revelation which is ultimately revealed through the Christ in many ways over against what was previously presented. This revelation of unconditional love does not mean that everything gets fixed for us like an external puppet master who can manipulate things but rather reveals the pathway of our own becoming that we too through our effort through our 
heart's deepest desire. Find our way into a quality of being that reflects such unconditional love. If we humans can find that, certainly it can be found and there are countless examples in history of people of light, of self-transcendence, who were a blessing in this world. If we can find it, then it exists in that deeper dimension. Because these people who are the evidence of the sacred, of the divine potential in humanity, the source of our being manifested through us, these people are the testimony to what we, each one of us, can achieve. And therein lies the meaning of our existence. To become this blessing to others in whatever ways it manifests through our awakening to that quality of self that is not self-interested, but is rather a giving of magnificent goodness, even in the simplest, most ordinary ways, in our very presence, in the impact that we have on others, the impact that we bring into the world, this is the becoming in the likeness of God, that is the whole message.